Hello people, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM. Obviously, this Dell laptop I got is from 2008. And um, one thing that's sort of quite special is, well, I mean, it's got quite a few things. I've done a video about this. It's got various things that are special. So, number one, um, it has a touchscreen. Um, of course, it's like capacitive touch, so it's not like multi. Well, actually, it is multi touch, but I think it's still like capacity touch, capacitive touch. Um, second of all, I was wondering where I put the RAM. There it is. And it's got a fingerprint scanner, fingerprint reader, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's got a SIM card slot. It's got um, all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to put this in. So. This is a two gig, um, fame fave three megahertz, DDR three stick. This is four gigs, and in theory, it should be compatible. Um, here now, I do want to point out. One gig of RAM is soldered on the board. This is a slot that I can use, so it means I will have a weird number of RAM. Um, so before the upgrade. I had um, two gigs, uh, well, three gigs, and now in theory, I should have five gigabytes of RAM. Um, what could I do with that RAM? Who knows? Um, also, do I say um, this is actually one of the first, you know, DDR3 systems? I mean, technically, this laptop was released, I believe, in early 2009, but there's a manufactured date somewhere. Oh yeah, I see it. Below here, it says the 28th. Is that the 26th? No, that's the 6th, sorry. The 26th of December 2008. So, technically 2008. Um, yeah, so. This means it's one of the first DDR3 systems um, out there. I've had this laptop since 2021, so this laptop's not new. Um, I have this stick on from like when I got it. Um, so it originally had two gigs of RAM, upgraded it to three, has an 80 gig hard drive still, and it says no touch, but the touch screen just worked. And it looks like it's, well, sounded like it's turned on. Now there are unfortunate things about this. Number one, the BIOS is password locked. I need to get it on the flat service. Go away, screwdriver. Um, number two, um, the Wi-Fi is disabled in the BIOS. So that's why, it. if you saw earlier, it does have a Wi-Fi card. I basically stole it. Um, and number three, I guess... Um, Um, no battery. It doesn't have battery still. But apart from that, it's quite a nice new laptop. If I had it fully set up, working, I'd put an SSD inside. It'd be probably worth the, a really nice little portable laptop. I also do like the fact that it's got a 16 by 10 screen. Although it is only 1280 by 800, although, you know, the pixel density... Is more than good enough when it's a screen this size because this is quite a small screen. I, th I think this is 11 inches, not even like 13 inches. Why is this being really slow to boot? I mean, it's a hard drive, I guess. I don't remember it being a slow. It's still got a nice little track point nipple, which is cool. Another weird problem on Linux... For some weird reason, the trackpad and these two buttons do not work. Wait, no. Oh, does it? Does the trackpad work? And then the buttons don't work? I can't remember. It's one of those, what I just said. And it is annoying. Um, but, yeah. Also, I can do that. Which is just sort of a thing you don't expect. You know? Just 
say. Um, but yeah, it'll eventually boot, and I'll see. Okay, you. it's now in the um, desktop. Um, trackpad works. I think it's the clicks, or maybe it has started working again. Also, I'm on sway. I've just realised. Um, no, yeah, it's the clicks that don't work. Um, why is it so broken? I mean, it's way on this thing, so it's probably not the best. To be fair, Waydroid didn't work when I tried it. Um, yeah, I shall try and see what I can do. Also, presumably... This was the last time I used it. Um, yeah, the BIOS battery's dead. It beeps at you when you unplug it and turn it on for the first time. And blah, 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 you get the point. Also, I'm not connected to the internet, so it can't do, like, internet connection. Sync. Okay, I've turned it on and off because it was, you know, being broken. And weirdly enough, it took barely any time to get into the grub bit. It wasn't showing the... Dell logo thing for like forever so yeah still gonna take a little while because you know once again it's using a hard drive a tiny little hard drive as well which is why I haven't um, used SSD upgraded it because the hard drive isn't just SATA it's like the weird mini SATA that to some weird reason adapters seem scarce don't ask why. Also, I can already see that the RAM has indeed been upgraded because of the it using the i3. But, um, there you go. It's been upgraded to 5 gigs of RAM. Let's go. I guess the final upgrade I could really do is, you know, an SSD upgrade. But that's for the future. Goodbye.